with another update. <sighs> um, this is morning one postpartum after my cesarean. Um, I, I'm, it's not my incision that's hurting. It's more of my uterus trying to contract and go back to the normal size that's really kind of painful um trying to not do too much but at the same time get up and walk so hopefully i recover a little easier um I'm supposed to be getting discharged tomorrow oh and as far as the update with star you know before i told you um the concern was her um blood sugars was way too low dangerously low um so throughout the night they kept coming in you know pricking her and i had to make sure she ate a certain amount i breastfed her some because i know this colostrum is um the best thing for her. and it ain't nobody but god who blessed me to have like um milk will breast full of colostrum at this point because you know i'm only 36 weeks usually you don't have a hefty amount of cholesterol colostrum cholesterol colostrum until you know 38 39 go real close to your due date but i'm happy i'm able to do that so she's between that colostrum and a little baby formula to supplement um, but she's doing good. She passed her last two sugar exams because it's supposed to be over 45. Anything under 45 is terribly dangerous. Her, her When she first got tested and she failed the first two times, it was her sugar was like 31. So now it, it went to... 53 no went to 47 then they tested her again at like 3 a.m and that was 67 and then it went to it last time she took it it was 47 so they was like that's fine she's good there's really dangerous effects to having low sugar as a newborn and i'm grateful that god was with her i'm grateful for all the nurses and all that so just walking the hall right now I'm gonna go to the end turn around and then come back so see you guys in a minute hey guys so another update um day one of postpartum at my oh day one of postpartum like you guys seen I was walking. I did get slightly lightheaded. Like, it's not really lightheaded, but it's like, you know, get weak in your knees, kind of. So, I was like, I'm going to take it easy. I got this nasty metallic taste in my mouth. It's disgusting, and I hate it. I'm trying to figure out why. Um, I am just on sodium chloride, saline, and... Yeah, my my um friend just dropped off me some diapers and wipes and some blankets and stuff. I'm appreciative. I I'm appreciative to everybody that's been supporting me through this. Um, I'm waiting on them to come in and take her bath. But me, I'm not using Johnson and Johnson for her. Um, I got the Vino babies, the Vino baby bathing kit. So I'm gonna when they come in here to bathe her, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Like I said before, they didn't bathe her yet, as of yet, because of her sugar being low and that affects her temperature and things like that. They didn't want to do anything to throw off her temperature at all. So yeah, and she's right here, my little baby. Right now, she is mainly breastfeeding. 
I thought it was going to be a lot harder than that, but it's not. So I'm going to just do it just as much as I can. Like I said, on the walk, um, I'm very blessed and grateful that I have colostrum and I have enough colostrum to be able to feed her and, you know, get her good. I do have bottles of Infamil on the side for a supplement just in case she's not getting enough. But right now she just seems to, I don't really have her on like every three hours she eats. It's anytime she wakes up and she wants to eat. I put her on for however long till she falls asleep. I burp her. And then if 20 minutes later she get up and want to eat again, it's all for you. So, yeah. Um, the doctor did say that um they see a slight heart murmur in her. That they was like, you know, don't worry about it. Because being that she's early and it's common in this age. You know, we're just going to keep a uh, eye out on it. We're going to do her ultrasound. And, you know, it's just a transition from being in the womb and now being on the outside. So, I'm trying not to stress about that. Um, But she's fine. Like I say, she's eating well. Her color's good. She's been opening her eyes. Um, She done had three poopy diapers, three pissy diapers. Pretty sure she peed and She's pissy now, so I'm going to get ready to change her in a second. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Oh, she does not take pacifiers. I kind of knew it. I knew I kind of knew she wasn't going to take the pacifiers. She's like, oh, no. <laughs> um, so, yep, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I want to just thank you guys for uh, joining me in this labor and delivery um, I can ask for better, you know, family. <laughs> you guys just stay tuned and I'll try to keep you up with her as much as possible. We're going to get discharged tomorrow. So I'm probably not going to vlog again until I get home. And then I'll show you guys how I am dealing with postpartum at home after cesarean. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned and be on the lookout for these videos. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.